Hey folks, we are here, welcome to Amberscape. Today I came to hunt for some fossils I haven't done so in such a long time. I'm super excited and there is two things I was hoping for today. The first and most important thing, uh, I don't come back home empty handed. And the second thing, there is no rain today. So that second thing, a little bit failed, but I hope uh, the, ro the rain stops soon and I can leave my car because I don't want to get super wet. But if I will have to, I will. So yeah, let's wait a little bit and explore this sun quarry. Didn't have to wait for super long. The sun is out. Bunch of rocks. Beautiful place. Let's go explore. Let's not forget some water. We don't want to get dehydrated while looking for fossils. I'm going straight for the big rocks. I don't care about small ones because in the big rocks there can be bigger finds and that's what I'm after. Unfortunately, the rain started raining again, but it's not very strong rain. I just hope it doesn't escalate into like big strong rain. Let's find those rocks fast. There we go. I reached my destination. Most of the big rocks are here. We can see some from this side. And uh, I see some fresh piles of rocks right over here and the biggest rocks are there. I just hope there is no rain because it stopped again, but the clouds are like nasty. There is a lot of granite, but this is the kinds of stone I'm looking for. This one contains lots of snails. For example, look at this one. Yeah, this thingy is a snail, but it doesn't look good. Oh, there is one sitting in here, basically full rock of snails. Lots of imprints of snails also, but these are almost impossible to get out because uh, they are fossilized in the way that it's impossible to retrieve them. And the rock is too big for our preparation to take it home. Maybe I will come back after it. But for now, we will just leave it be. Very interesting rock, to be honest. Bro, first decent find to take home. My favorite coral, guys. This is chain coral. I haven't found one in ages and this one is like... Yeah, it looks very correct. I will take it home for sure. Very nice coral. It's a chain coral. It's around 450 million years old. And yeah, it just lays here like this. So when you find it, it looks really good. Look at that. <laughs> Yes! Of course, uh, this little coral is very nice, but it is not my goal today. My goal is to find bigger concretions like this one, to split and find some good stuff inside. So yeah, this looks like a correct concretion. It's either Silurian or maybe Ordovician. And this one can contain some fossils. I can see abraced shells from the top. Like, this is the remains of the shells. There's something else, and this is probably Rugosa coral. Oh, yep, there's another one, you see? Rugosa coral is inside. So this is the kind of rock I need for splitting. We are gonna unbury this one and split it up.
Unfortunately, nothing interesting inside. Just like from the top, inside was some small brachiopods and lots of small rugosa corals. So yeah, I will skip that and let's look for something better, I hope. Not every uh, rock has some good fossils. By good, I mean something I can put on my display. That's what matters to me. And by the way, fun fact, all of these rocks, they are not native in Lithuania. Why I mean by that? Like 10,000 years ago, uh, when the last ice age happened and the ice iceberg was sliding down from the side of Scandinavia and the, all of these rocks are from the Scandinavia because the iceberg, as it was going through the Europe, it started melting uh, in Lithuania and half of Poland, Latvia. So it buried all the native fossil deposits and it did break this ice age erratic, so-called. So yeah, all of these rocks are basically mishmash of different fossil layers. There is Silurian, Jurassic, uh, Ordovician stuff. So basically a mix salad of rocks and also fossils. Holy macaroni, folks. Look at this rock. Looks just like a rock. Well, it is not. It is a piece of its cephalopod, Orthoceras. But look how fat it is. This was a giant. No, I'm not picking fossils like this, but the size was impressive. It was at least like one with a half meters, maybe even bigger. Yeah, unfortunately, it's only a small piece. Let's leave it here. I found another one of these dead bed, dead bed uh, concretions. This one is not with uh, snails. This one is full of mollusks remains. Yeah, impressive, but well, just to look at it, can't do anything with a piece like that. Dudes, not 100% sure, but this one looks like a Jurassic concretion. Why? Because look at this bryozoan here. I was finding uh, like this stones in the red clay quarry and this one is quite big. I will try to split it open, but it's gonna be a challenge. I'm pretty sure it's filled with fossils, but not sure big or small fossils. From the top it looks like shells, small shells. And there's something. Yeah. I split it up, unfortunately I was wrong, very empty. Very empty. Uh, I guess this is first semi-success splitting concretions. This is cephalopod. It's not gonna be complete. You can see it from this side. Interesting rock. Maybe I will, I will probably take it because it has nice shell preserved. I just need to uncover a little bit more of it at home. Um, from this side we have two more. They are eroded, but yeah. There is one and there is second one, big ones. So it's a chunk of a big concretion with Orthoceras dead bed. Kind of cool, to be honest. I will take this one, maybe. <laughs> and there we go. I finished smacking the rock. This is the end of it. So it's not complete, but I will take it home because there is from the side, there is second one. Can you see it? It goes across, so if I remove this part at home with air scribe maybe we'll have semi decent specimens so this rock is going home i suppose unfortunately uh, this is the end of today's hunt because it started raining once again for, for like 10th time and i'm soaking wet already and yeah the wind is also quite strong so yeah let's go home and let's see <laughs> If it's worth releasing this video, because there is literally almost no finds. Sometimes it happens like this, so yeah. See you home. The rain has stopped again. Uh, I'm still wet. <laughs> I will still go home, but my backpack is literally almost empty. So this rock with the snails that I did find at the very start, uh, I will take it home. Uh, I'm not gonna prep it or anything. It's not gonna be a part of my collection, but I think it's gonna go, look good in the garden with flowers and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I will pick it up and take it home because I can. <laughs> Come here, baby. Let's go home. And maybe I will feel better carrying some stones in my backpack because it's almost literally empty. Yeah.
Now it feels much better. <laughs> Let's go home. It's time to prep this Orthoceras fossil a little bit and uncover it a bit more from the sides. Unexpectedly, there is a trilobite tail right besides it, which I haven't spotted before. I will keep this trilobite pygidium, it makes this specimen a bit better. Yep, so I'm home, the preparation is basically done, there was not much preparation, but this piece has become a little bit more defined, a little more 3D. The second uh, cross of the Orthoceras is also uncovered as much as possible, and we have this nice tri trilobite tail here. And the other find, uh, except the one that lays now <laughs> outside, the one concretion with tons of snails, I found this very nice and cute coral, my favorite one, chain coral. And yeah, so not much finds today, but at least I found something to bring home, which is nice. And yeah, this is it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel for more fossil hunting content. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.